Across Massachusetts, across the nation, somber remembrances of a day that America will never forget, the attacks of September 11th. This is a live look at New York City. This is Ground Zero, where the World Trade Center towers once stood over the city's skyline. More than 200 people with ties to Massachusetts, of course, lost their lives on September 11th. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Anaritis Rodriguez. Lisa is off. America is preparing to mark 20 years since the attacks that shook the nation to the core. Tonight, Tiffany Chan reports from Abington, where an emotional vigil was held to remember the local lives lost. For many, 9-11 is a day of remembrance, but for one Abington family, the Coombs family, it's an excruciating reminder of the day they lost a loved one. An overwhelming show of support outside of the Abington police station. Dozens of people lit candles, sang together, prayed together to bring the Coombs family comfort ahead of the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. We're focusing on all the good that came from that tragedy 20 years ago, how the country came together. Christy Coombs' husband, Jeff, was on board the first plane to hit the Twin Towers. 20 years later, the pain doesn't get any easier, but seeing so many people simply show up means so much. It helps us teach the new generation that wasn't born then, the high school kids, how important it is to remember a day like that, how it changed our country, how it brought people together. Firefighters hoisted the American flag, the symbol of sacrifice. To show my support. One Abington mother explains why it was so important for her to bring her three young children to the vigil. My husband, their dad, is a first responder in town, and it's important to us to come out here and remember the first responders and all of the Americans that were lost on September 11. And Christy Coombs says she wants people to not only reflect tomorrow, but to pay it forward through acts of kindness. From Abington, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. Tiffany, thank